Hello everyone, it's Jeremy once again. Hat's back on. Got some craziness going on up underneath this hat. Don't need to mess y'all's eyes up with, with what I got going on under there. So today I've been thinking a lot because I'm not an expert in most things. Um, there's an old saying, it's, you know, oh crap, how'd it go? Uh, knower of many, or knower of much, but master of none or something like that. That's the way it is. And I don't want to come off that way to you guys. I am always learning. I'm always studying. I'm always growing. And I want to continue that. So with these videos, I want you to understand that first off. And, you know, I've been doing this for a little while now. And I want you guys to know that the, it's, the topics are going to repeat because, uh, you know, I know some stuff about financials, but I'm not at that point where I can discuss them, you know, with any kind of certainty. And, you know, I know quite a bit about fitness, but I'm not at any point that I can discuss that with, with a lot of certainty. So I'm going to discuss the stuff that I understand and what I've learned in my life. So as long as you guys understand that. So today what I want to talk about is I kind of want to go back over goals a little bit when I discussed with you guys before about the goals that I had and what I was doing and all that kind of stuff um, I told you you know I write down my goals and I do that kind of stuff and I do but I also told you that I read over my goals at night and I've made that kind of a habit um, I don't do it every night but I do it quite a few nights and so I want you to, I, I heard something and it made me think of this. I heard this today and it, the gentleman said, and I can't remember for the life of me who said it, unfortunately, but what he said is dreams without goals are just dreams. And it's kind of funny because I don't sleep well most of the time. I'm kind of a restless sleeper. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's due to injuries I've had and things of that nature or if it's due to you know, my brain always running or what, I, I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning is, but when I do sleep and I do dream, I generally, in those dreams, I generally have parts that are part of my goals, which is kind of odd. And so this is kind of what I want to go over is that I've told you before, and I think I told you when we were discussing goals, that generally the last thing you think of at night is generally the first thing you think of in the morning and so that's kind of where this leads and that's why I like to read my goals at night and you know to be honest with you I wish I was more um, consistent with it I wish that um, I wrote them down every night or at least wrote down my three like I discussed with you guys before but even without doing that just reading them it, it gets into my subconscious and I actually think about it and I really like that and so I had one of the viewers suggest that I come up with a task and I tell you guys about it and I give myself a time frame now I really really like this idea um, I've been contemplating about what to do whether it's to read a book or to set a small goal because I don't want it to be a long time frame I don't want it to be one of those things that I say I'm going to do X in two years and then, you know, it be forgotten or it be pushed off or anything like that. So I think two weeks is about the thing, about the time frame I'm thinking. So if you have suggestions, please drop them in the comments. But this would be one of those things that I could tell you, you know, I'm going to do X in two weeks and I can write it down in my journal and I can, you know, maybe start the practice of writing it every night and see if it helps. Um, but, but this, I mean, you guys need to think about this. It's, it's real. It's worked for me and it's worked for hundreds of other people. I'm not the only one that this has worked for. Um, you can read studies about it. I mean, it's scientifically proven. There's studies on it that the last thing that you think about is the first thing you think about as a generality. So I want you guys to do that. I want you guys to not lay in bed and be like oh I've got to go to work in the morning or you know whatever the negative thoughts you might have when you go to bed 
That is not the right way to start your morning. You need to have something positive, and a good goal is a positive thing. And so, I want you guys to think about that for me. Think about that when you go to bed, and actually think about it. You know, don't have the TV on, don't be reading another book, unless the book has to do with your goal, and then that's perfectly fine. But I want you to make a conscious effort to say, I'm... I'm going to be married in two years. Whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know what your goals are, but that's that's one thing I want you to do. And then also with this, this could be a little bit longer of a video because it's kind of going to be a two-part. Is and I haven't practiced this, but I've studied it a lot, and I understand why it works. So it's putting your goals out there, and what that means is. You express it to somebody or some people that you actually, you care about their opinion, I guess. You know, people tell you not to care what others think, but you do. I do. Everybody does. There's somebody that you care what what their opinion is of you. And that's, you know, that's fine. I'm cool with that. I have zero issues with that. I understand that. Now, the group of people that I care about their opinions is not real large, but they're there. You know, if, if somebody thought I was a total jerk that I cared about, I would have a problem with that. And so, and I don't want anybody to think that I'm a jerk. You know, I'm a little harsh in some of these videos. But you can put it out there, whether you do it on social media. If you're a person who, you know, values what other people say on social media, you can, whatever. You can put it out there to the world and it's supposed to help you. And like I said, I have not tried this, and I think a lot of that has to do with fear. So think about that. Think about what you want. And, you know, if you're brave, and unlike me, put it out there. Put it out there. Say, you know, like I said, I'm going to be married in two years. Or, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to own my own company by the, you know, 30th of February. And yes, I know that's not a real date. Nonetheless, put it out there, you know, give that a try. I'm like I said that I had somebody say that I need to do the two weeks thing. So I'm going to figure that out. I I really want to do that. I'm going to put it out there as a goal. I'm going to get it figured out. So I want you guys to help me out. Throw some ideas out there. Obviously, it's got to be a two week thing. I'm not going to be a millionaire in two weeks. Promise you. Um, It's not where I'm at. So give me some ideas. What do you think? Should I, should I read a book cover to cover in two weeks and come back and let you guys know about it? Um, I, I don't even know. Give me some ideas. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys' time. And like I always say, I love you guys. I really do. I care about you guys. You guys are worth everything that you're willing to work for. Absolutely everything. Um, as you can see, I'm in my beater truck. I actually just realized, you know, you can see the headliner hanging down, but I love this truck. So, um, but yeah, tell me what you think. Um, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you. You guys have a great night.